warning, this podcast contains spoilers. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the As Seen on TV podcast for Pretty Little Liars, Season 5, Episode 18. Oh, what hard luck stories they all hand me. That, that's a tongue twister. Ugh, it's, uh... I'm your host, Dom. With me is Heather. Hey. How's it going? It's going. It's going, it's going. Going. So what'd you think of this episode? You a little frustrated? As I said, I still love the episodes. I'm just... They don't even answer a question in this episode, and they're just like, here's 20 more questions. You love that. I do love it. It's it's like a love-hate relationship. <laughs> <laughs> which, uh, speaking of which, uh, Emily and Talia. Hey, that's her name, Talia? Talia. Yeah. It's Talia, Johnny, and Leslie. Ooh. Those are the three. Yes, Talia. Um... Emily's been kind of getting some mixed signals from Talia. Right? <laughs> That's kind yeah. of been a love-hate relationship. I, I don't even know if it's like love-hate. It's like Well, Emily hated her at first. Yeah, that is true. So she, it, it pretty much her. is the very definition of a love-hate relationship. Yeah, it's kind of one of those, oh, I hate this person. Oh, wait, they like me? Well, I like them too. <laughs> it, it's very high school. It's, it's very, very high school. school. And she, Talia... She Talia, threw Talia, sand at me on the playground. Yeah, Talia looks like she's, like, in her, what, late 20s? Maybe. Like, she's, I don't even know how old she is. Is she yeah. a college student? I'm or assuming just, she's college student. Like. If not a little older. Like, ugh. They've been really pushing that um, older, younger relationship status thing going on on this show lately. Yeah, Arya and Ezra, yeah. Yeah, and then um, Spencer and Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, Spencer and Johnny. That's, that's, that's another, uh. Really, kind of awkward one. What about the uh, the two hundred dollar contract commission that uh, Ezra, I love it. That thing is genius. I loved it. That thing was genius. Um, it it reminds me of an eight trap. Like, I'm seeing this thing and I'm like, oh my god, this is an eight trap. This is just going to be. A is going to swarm to this because people are going to be able to go into this little bubble record. and talk, record their secrets, and know that a random person is putting their elbows on this table and going like this mm -hmm. and hearing their secret. And they're not going to know who it's from. They're not. I mean, like, it, this, this whole idea from Johnny is either going to open up so many doors or it's going to cause a lot of trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Yeah. I'm going to go with trouble because that's the basis of the show. <laughs> I mean, he, he said the, the whole device was inspired by Rosewood in the first place. Yeah, yeah. So. I love it, though. Yeah. It is pretty cool. Um, I don't know, what, what do you think's going on with, with Johnny and, and uh, Spencer? I don't know. Like I really, I really think she's drifting away from from Toby. Yeah. I mean, here's Toby, who is now forever trapped in Rosewood. He is part of Rosewood. He has gone and become a pinnacle of Rosewood. You know, he's a he's cop now. Mm -hmm. You know, and she's been doing everything she can in the past four years to get away from Rosewood. Right. You know, so. Now she she's there's this new guy. He's he's mysterious. He's traveled. He ditched college to to do art, something that she loves. You know. He he's very carefree, and I think she's kind of drawn to that because it's new for her. Yeah. It is, and and we kind of see the influence carrying over. To mm -hmm. when Spencer and her mother have that little conversation toward the end of the episode. Yep. And she's like, is is he the reason why you're not looking to go into college? And they kind of get into this big argument over it. Yeah. And Spencer's like, no, it's it's not. You know, I, I've, I've been having these as, did you know what you wanted 
when you were my age? Like, just think about it. Just take yeah. ten Did seconds. Did you always want to be a lawyer? She's like, no, I didn't want to be a lawyer at all. What What was the outcome of that? I'm a little. There wasn't one. The phone call. Yeah. The phone call interrupted it. Yeah, I was gonna say like, I'm. I'm don't remember an outcome to that that conversation at there all. There was not one. There, so. the phone call that they got basically threw it completely off. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there was a lot of notes this week. Yeah. So it was another one of those episodes that bounced. Mm-hmm. Bounces all over the place. It does. One so uh, familiar faces returned. We uh, we got Holbrook back. Yay. He's not in the barrel after all. Damn. Damn. <laughs> we were, we were kind of hoping for that. Mm-hmm. So. Um, he apparently has been under um, watch for the uh, the police. He's kind of been... What did, the, what did they say? It, it, he wasn't on, like, house arrest, but... He was in a hotel room with two Alzheimer something or others. Like... <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. I have it, no idea. It was it was kind of almost like a um what do they call that? The uh the watch thing. Yeah, like that whole scene between Hannah and Holbrook, I was extremely confused. Yeah, well when he pulled her over and started yeah. accusing her or when and when he saw like just the whole them thing. and Caleb. When he pulled her over and started accusing her. Right. So there's, there's clearly more to it. Yeah, because did he did he say did she make you kiss me? Because that's what I heard when he was whispering. Did Allie want you to kiss me? I I couldn't make out the whisper. Thank you. So it was like I'm not the only one. Like I yeah. have no idea what the hell he was talking about. Because I'm sitting here like Hannah never kissed Holbrook. Mm mm. Oh no. Did, yes, did she? Did she? Didn't they go on, like, a date? Didn't he, like, trick her or something? I don't remember. It was when it was when Caleb was in Gone. Ravenswood. Yeah, she and, did. She and had they, that moment. Remember they were, she was on the, the whole book club hunt, and she was reading detective novels okay, and, yeah. and all that? Yeah, she I, did She kiss did Holbrook. kiss Holbrook, yeah. So, maybe, maybe A or Allie was holding that over him. And maybe that's what uh, had him investigated in the first place because uh, he's flirting with the the witnesses and all that, and that probably got him into some shit in the police office. Mm. So, but yeah, when when Caleb gets called in for questioning, we see him in the police office, and he's just like in a rage, packing his shit up. He he looks he looks at Caleb and Hannah, and he goes, "Oh, this is just great." Yeah. Here's my question for you. Do you think he's really suspended? Because he flat out said to Hannah later, Tanner knows everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does. So, do you think it's a, dis- you know, kind of disguise, you know, let's make him look it so that way, because he still does have his car. And he gave a very nonchalant, oh, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Mm-hmm. This is a very small town. If somebody I, I, wanted their car back, I think he knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah, like he, he I don't know because that was a red light. It wasn't a blue one, mm-hmm. so that may have been just like an extra light he had left <laughs> over from something. Because I mm-hmm. mean, I, I, you you need I know for a fact you need some kind of permit to actually uh, purchase the blue lights. I don't know about the red ones. I don't know about red ones. Mm. I know for a fact you need one for the blue, but. I don't know. So that that could have just been something he had lying around and just straight up lied to Hannah. But yeah. Hannah whacked him with what? That was a tire iron? I don't even have? know what she smacked him with. It looked like her hand. No, she had something a metal. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. It looked like a crowbar almost. Oh, was it the crowbar from uh, when she went with uh, Caleb last episode? Maybe like it, it was like it was a very brief whatever she had mm-hmm. because by the next scene when she's back in the cart was gone. She was looking at her hand, her bare hand. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, that hand was holding the, the crowbar or whatever it was, so. Yeah, and she, I mean, she was shaking. Now, on the subject of Hannah, that look in the mirror, in the rearview mirror. Mm-hmm. Did you see it? Mm-mm. I miss oh, it. Sheesh. She gave a very, very strange look when she Oh, no, no, I do remember this now. I, I do, because I remember going, what the hell was that? It was, yeah. It was, it was very... Because there's another creepy. thing I noticed. Um, last week you mentioned, you know, how Arya does this. Yeah. During the, the, yeah. the opening. I noticed also that in the opening, all the girls at one point look at Hannah who looks away. Yeah, Hannah's just kind of like sitting there with her arms crossed and she's just like kind of like yeah. looking off into the distance somewhere. Yeah, like all... off to the side and all three girls just look right at her. Well, and then Arya is it Spencer? Shit. Spencer looks in her general direction but is avoiding direct contact. The other two, I think. Because she's looking yeah, yeah. towards Spencer. Yeah, yeah. Like that, that's she's kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you really think they would hide something like that so obvious in the intro? Yes. You do? Yes. Just to be like it was right in front of your face all along? Every, yeah. Every single episode of every yeah. week and you guys are dumb and missed it? Is it... Yeah. I, I wouldn't put it past them. Hmm. At all. <laughs> I mean, there was there's other shows where they, they did very mm -hmm. interesting things like that. One in of which intros. One of which in the intro, I, I don't want to go in too deep on but there was um it was american horror story on coven mm -hmm. if you paid attention to what people were wearing in the intro that was very important and actually like all the with, promotional um, work and everything too if you paid attention to that you knew mm -hmm. something about the the show once upon a time does it as well yeah to a degree to but, a, i mean they don't give spoilers in theirs but they do do a theme in each yeah it's whatever the episode's theme. about they yeah. they try to relate it to in their title card so yeah so, yeah. I mean, there's a couple of shows that do something along that line. Yeah. And it works because most people don't pay much attention to that. You know, that's something they... Pretty Little Liars, six seasons now almost. And we've never gotten a new opening. Mm-hmm. I mean, we get the, the occasional little changes for the Christmas and the Halloween episodes. and Right, but... I think even, the, like, one of the Ravenswood The basis episodes. of it was those girls are still there over the coffin. Yeah. They just change it up a little bit. They put snow in there. or Different I colored the... nail polish. Right, right. Crazy contacts. Yeah. You know, things like that, but yeah. But the basis of those four girls standing there over the coffin, Arya's always the one to do this, and Hannah's always the one to look away. Yeah. Yeah. But that look in that mirror. Something else we discussed last week was how the girls never have any of their, their parents around. And, <laughs> and, you know, as we mentioned earlier, though, Spencer's mom is back, you know, mm -hmm. and she she's reviewing a case, which actually is um, Allison's case. Mm -hmm. And uh, Spencer gets into the papers. She's, she's uh, digging around, trying to find something out. And she finds out something very interesting, that uh, Mike has gone to visit Hannah. And... Ouch. Or, uh, Allie, yeah. <laughs> Woo. Wrong names. blonde. Names, yeah. Well, they're basically the same person, right? They really are. Like, I'm really starting to wonder. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, who's the real bad guy here? Because Hannah's, the whole thing with Caleb when he was studying, when he was sitting in the grass studying and said that he had to keep up with Hannah now. Yeah. Like, everybody's just I mean, like... she's got a really high IQ, but she's been playing dumb. <laughs> so... I, I, that's why I, I really want to say it's Hannah, but mm -hmm. yeah. But well, anyway, so Mike yeah. Mike went and um, has uh, been visiting Allison. Let me get mm -hmm. that right. Allison in in jail. What do you think he's been doing there? Because it's it's not just one time. We know of one time, but we mm -hmm. we see at the end of the episode he goes there again. Mm-hmm. So. I have a feeling that it's not just these two isolated incidents. Right. Why do you think he's going there? I have no idea. Like, I have absolutely no idea. It's like, this whole episode, Mike, has been very iffy. You know, he freaked out about the book. 
Mm-hmm. And, you know, it makes you wonder, did he know it was in the book? I don't know, because then the, the very last scene of the the episode, we see A looking in the book for that tape right. that, that's not in there. Right, so, right. You know? Who it, knows Who knows about that tape? Like, who who did they share that with? Mona. No, Mona, obviously. But, I mean, last episode when they found it, who who did they share that with? The girls. All of them? No. Uh-uh. Was Arya one of those girls? Mm-hmm. So, if Arya is A, she's not going to go looking in, in a book that she already knows it's not there. Right. Same with Hannah. Why would she go back and look for it when it's not there? Right. You know? So. Uh, but we've seen people in this show dress up like A when they were not A. Look That's true. Because Toby we, did. But Toby was actually on Team A. That was, like, confirmed. He was the biggest... He said he was he was on team he was on team A and he was playing it to try to get closer and find out who Redcoat was, like that that's what he was doing. He was officially part of team A. Yeah, that was just a writer's loof to fucking make everybody squirm a little bit. Well, it worked. I hated it. It was the worst arc ever. <laughs> it was so stupid. It was like really, guys, really. It's it's definitely not the worst arc ever. Worst arc ever is kickboxing, dude. <laughs> So, and uh, a lacrosse stick. The lock, grrr, the lacrosse stick had potential. <laughs> it's we get into this every and week. It vanished. I hate this lacrosse stick so much. If, <laughs> if this lacrosse stick does not show up in these <laughs> these last like what have we got two two seasons and like five episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Four episodes. We got four episodes to the end of the season, don't we? Four more weeks. Four more weeks. So things. Do you think we're gonna find out who A is uh, this season? Or no, or... no. They um, Marlene has said it will be season six. Okay. It will be in season six. Season... Are we at least gonna find out who's in the barrel? Yes. Or what's in the barrel? From what I've heard, season finale is going to make people cry. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So. Did um did who's was in the last... barrel? I think it's Melissa. You think it's Melissa? I think it's Melissa. Hmm. Hmm. Because honestly, I think Mike is leaving Candy for Mona. Yeah, I mean, it was a little odd for him at the dock. You know, he's got the the thing or whatever. But Mona's dead. It's been confirmed she's dead. Dead. Not if she was a twin, and that was her twin sister. Hmm. Oh, ouch! Because <laughs> Hannah said it herself to Leslie. Mona's more than one person in her mind. Yeah. What if Mona really was more than one person? That would explain why she seemed extremely schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, th- 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 that whole flashback scene with Mona and Hannah was really weird. Because Mona's sitting here talking about this watch. How she wants a stopwatch. Yeah, that to she freeze, freeze time. time and the people around her. And later on, Hannah comes back and goes, what about aging? And then Hannah comes back and says, what if Allie comes back in a disguise? And we don't know it's her, but she knows it's us. And, like, this is all before Allie ever came back. Right. And Hannah basically set it up. Mm-hmm. I mean, both her and Mona, right, they had something to gain by being the popular girls. So, for all we know, th- this is just them giving us a little insight to the flashbacks of how uh, Hannah could be A, because she could have been yeah. working with Mona this whole time. Right. You know, this. if we start seeing some more of these flashbacks setting things up, you know, it, it's kind of going to gonna put things i mean to the the casual viewer the average person that's watching that's not really analyzing this to the depth that we are that's just gonna be like hey you know what they were friends this is just a back scene you know filler to show that they were friends yeah i mean but, but you're and reading me, we, into it we sit here and pick this apart every week all you and me all we want is one week or one of our theories was right right other like, than one with talia and emily 
because that's all we have so far. Right. Right. <laughs> that's it. Everything else we've tried, and we're just like, nope. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get on the page where. So. Yeah. So, um, what did you think about Leslie? You mentioned her. Um, you know, I, I kind of want her to be that one person who really is who she says she is. When she comes into town, I mean, she brought up Mona's mom a lot. You know, she's obviously known. I mean, she's in and out of Mona's room and her house. So, obviously, Mona's mom knows her. I mean, the fact that she gravitated toward that book that had the cassette in it in the first place was a little odd. That was something that I actually had written right here. It says, um, did Leslie come back for the tape, or was she leading or even planting it for Hannah to find? I don't know, and I think I think the person at the end may have, in fact, been Mike. Mm -hmm. the, I think it was, because we've seen Mike in a black hoodie before, right. back in the beginning of the season, when he was smashing car windows and doing mm -hmm. all that shit. They made it look like he was A in that hoodie. Um, because Mike did have the big freak out when um, Leslie was carrying around the book. I think she knew the cassette was there and she was trying, because she specifically asked for Hannah. And then specifically took Hannah to that book. Mm -hmm. You know, something, she was trying to trigger something for Hannah. She made Hannah remember reading those stories with Mona. Yeah, I think she led her to it, and when Mike saw it, because Mike, there was that whole thing with Leslie talking about um, what she heard on the phone that night before Ramona died. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's it's as I said, this episode was great for not answering any questions, but giving us twenty more. It sure did, it sure did, and then we find out, you know, um. Exactly. Uh, what was on the cassette and stuff like we we've heard it. Did we hear a little bit of it of it at the end of last week? Mm -mm. No, we just saw this week. We we hear exactly what it was, and it it was Bethany. It's Bethany and talking to somebody, probably a doctor. About okay. her hatred <laughs> for Allie. Well, we don't know who who she's talking about. We're assuming we're it's Allie. we're left to assume it's Allie. It's probably Hannah. Or Sarah. Or, or Sarah. Whatever. We do know Sarah's coming up at some point. Yeah. Yep. We have heard confirmation that the other missing person in the series is coming back for a little bit. Hmm. What about the other missing people? I know, right? When do we get to see them? Kickboxing dude. Melissa. Doggy. Melissa. Melissa's in the barrel. I'm gonna stick to that one. <sighs> that that's would like, be huge. That that's like one of my favorite theories that I've I've uncovered. If, but if Melissa's in the barrel, where's her father? Yell at Mike. <laughs> Yell at Mike. Um, I mean, father got kicked out. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We haven't heard anything from him, though. Mm -mm. Or Melissa. Melissa, last we heard from Melissa, Melissa left the tape for Spencer, explaining the big secret, and then leaving. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever leaves Rosewood. And nobody ever tells a secret Caleb like did. that. Caleb he, came, he got brought back. He was brought right back into the middle of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, Melissa exposed a huge secret. And then was gone. Mm-hmm. And then, do you really think they just let her walk away? Could have. Doubtful. Could have. No. I mean, we haven't heard from her. This is Melissa. She's like Queen Big Mouth. Yeah. She doesn't just go away. Yep. I don't know. Uh, was there anything else for this episode? Um. Uh, and then Leslie got the aria thing i mean i don't know 
me look at this really quick. Did you ever look through that um thing I posted for you? Yeah, I did. I did. There's uh some interesting theories. It's basically everything we already covered. Yeah. Um the only one on here is Maya St. Maya Maya St. Germain is alive and working for A. Yeah, I mean there was that interesting theory she went to what north? Northwest. True North. True North, yeah. She went to True North and then the lighter that we saw that set the mm -hmm. airport b barn, whatever place was uh, on right. fire, was uh, had a True North uh, lighter. Mm -hmm. So she could be involved. But the that one seems like a stretch because we haven't seen her since the first season. So mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, but we've, we haven't seen Ren either. Yeah, but no, we've seen Ren since the first Here season. Here and there. Whatever. I mean... He's, he's been on and off. Yeah, so. he was at Radley, and then he was gone again. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean... They, they're still thinking Toby's part of the game. I don't think it's Toby. I don't think Toby has anything to do with it. Uh, it would be interesting. It would be interesting. Um. Well, next week... Episode 19 is called Out Damned Spot. And I just want to say, for the record, I really hope Spot is the dog that I is know. at Allison's house. I really... Just close that for us. Just please. Um, senior high school students focus on their future college careers and feel the high pressures that come along with it. And Aria, Emily, Hannah, and Spencer are no different. With a grade contingent acceptance, Aria needs to buckle down to improve her grades and looks to Andrew for some tutoring help. Who the hell is Andrew? Andrew is the nerdy guy that was hitting on Spencer back a couple of seasons ago. Um, the blonde boy. Don't remember him. Um, he was in the triathlon with Spencer. Um, she, he, the one who was giving her the drugs. Oh, okay. That her guy I remember. Dealer. Her drug dealer that would give her the drugs to keep her awake. Interesting. That hmm. is who's back. So, again, another wonder, character we haven't seen in forever. I wonder how that's going to affect Arya, if he's mm -hmm. going to try to get her hooked, and how that's going to affect Spencer having him back around. Yeah. Um, also, having college acceptance, anxiety, Spencer decides to take a break and help Johnny with a new project. Uh, Hannah is doing just fine in her college acceptances, but finds out that she has been turned down for financial aid and turns to her dad to help. Now, has she actually been turned down for financial aid, or does she need some financial aid for her A activities? We don't know. Um, meanwhile, Arya and the girls' concerns about Mike increase after an incident at the school blood drive. Mm -hmm. Dun, dun, dun. So... Oh, yeah. It's coming, like, coming to a close. We got four episodes left. Yeah, I've heard the. I've been hearing that the last four episodes are really, really good. Like they're really amping it up. And I heard that this last episode for the season is hurtful. Like um, Keegan Allen, the guy who plays Toby, has come out and said that there's going to be tears shed in this yeah. in this final finale. Oh, there's not four episodes left. There's one, two, three, four, eight, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven episodes left. We're going to 25 episodes. Welcome to the dollhouse. Yeah. I kind of love that name. That is an amazing name. Well, that's the finale is Welcome to the I Dollhouse. I know. So. That, like, makes me so happy. It's nostalgic. <laughs> it is. We haven't seen exactly. the dollhouse since, like, the first few seasons. I know. So. Um, I think that about wraps it up. Do you have anything else you want to discuss? No? No. No. I ate my moon pie. I'm good. You ate your moon pie? <laughs> Heather, where can the people find you in your missing moon pie? Everywhere and anywhere. Connexia. Excellent. Find me down below at Phenomenon. P H E N O M E D O M. You can also find us on Facebook, Gmail, G, Twitter, Mama. <laughs> Oops. And uh, right here on YouTube at slash ASO TV Podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows. Till next week. See you guys later. Bye. What? What are you waiting for? I'm not going to give you some quirky response. Gosh. No? No. Okay, then don't. I Just won't. Keep going back to texting. I'm not even texting you, noob. Eh. I'm a noob? <laughs>
I was in my email. Shut up. My mother texted me. Ah, see, she texted you. <laughs> she did. She texted me. Boom. Embarrassing baby pictures. Boom.